Happy Sunday everyone. Welcome back. It's time for a pounds for purrs workout. And today we've got weighted dip as well as reverse grip row. I got to the gym in the morning feeling pretty good and I decided to go with the cross ramp for my warm up. So I, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do and just found myself heading towards the cross ramps. So I did a half mile which took 5 minutes and 50 seconds. That's shorter than usual. Typically it's more like 620, 630, I think even 640 depending. And the fact that it was sub 6 minutes I guess just meant that I was really ready to go. <laughs> so no complaints there. I just happened to get it done very noticeably quicker than usual. And then I went over to the dip station. So for the warm up set of 10 with body weight, set of 8 with 25 pounds, here's the 10 by 5 with 52 and a half pounds, although on this third set I lost count during the middle. I don't know how that happened, but it did and I ended up doing 6 reps instead of 5. So I did 51 total reps as opposed to the usual 50. And that's okay, it's just one extra rep. 90 seconds of rest in between, of course, in between sets. And it felt very comfortable and very easy today. So dips went quite well. So did rows, but I'll get to that later. As far as dips go, I'm pretty happy. Felt light, felt easy, I took my time. And yeah, a lot of control here. So good stuff, good stuff overall. You will probably have already noticed two things. First of all, I'm facing away from the dip station. And that's just to switch it up a bit. I like facing away as well as facing towards the dip station. The difference really isn't that big. Now, when you're facing away from the dip station, the bars V out a bit. So they just get a little bit wider. And again, it's, it's gradual. We're not talking a big difference, but it is a little bit. And when you face towards the dip station, Depending on where on the bars you're gripping, you might have a slight, very slight internal rotation of the shoulders. That may agree with some people, that may not. In general, it does kind of depend on what you're trying to emphasize. So I like to go in either direction. I like to switch it up just for the fun of it. And so today I just figured why not just face away from the dip station. And also you may notice that I'm wearing a tank top. That hasn't happened in a very long time and there's a very specific reason for that that I probably will address in a future video but something just made me want to wear one today and hoping that I wouldn't regret it. Thankfully I didn't. So I'm wearing my Punisher tank top. It's a comfortable one that I got at Target for I think $12 or something like that and it's, it's lasted quite a while so definitely it was a worthwhile investment <laughs> but it's it's fun I like it a lot and for the accessory I went to the close grip bench for close grip bench I've been kinda staying this at the same weights so I wanted to see if I could expand out a bit and I thankfully I did so I did a set of 8 with 135 then I did a set of 8 with 185 now normally that would be my first working set but today I thought you know what last time I wanted to do three straight sets with 205 and I didn't do it so I did it today so 3 by 8 with 205 felt pretty good felt pretty comfortable and I'm actually quite happy about that usually 205 would be a top set with progressive sets today I did 205 straight across for three sets and I'm actually really happy about it so I could definitely add a little bit of weight but I'm happy I did that much okay reverse grip penley row just like the dip felt very comfortable very easy in fact so with this one did the same warm-up as usual set of 10 with 135 set of 8 with 185 and here we have the 10 by 5 with 200 pounds 90 seconds of rest in between sets and again just like the dip felt easy felt very comfortable got a nice uh, jump off the floor and just pulled that bar right into the lower abdomen Trying to pull through, of course, getting good scapular retraction, getting good peak contraction at the top, and then coming right back down. So, really, really good exercise. I love it. I like the bicep activation from having the supinated or the underhand grip. But, don't get me wrong, I like doing the traditional pronated version. I just happen to really like this one more. Just simply preference. I like the way that it activates my lats, and I do like the added 
bicep activation, although you do have to eventually be careful depending on how heavy you go with it. Just for the sake of your bicep tendon, you don't want to strain it, you don't want to overwork it. But I'm in very, very manageable weights, so I don't have to worry about that. It's just volume at this point. I do want to give a couple shout-outs. One to, the, to one of my gym crushes who was there at the beginning of the workout. She didn't do anything really other than cardio, and I think she did a little bit of mobility after that and then left. But definitely to the woman in the background. Really awesome woman. I see, I've seen her probably a good handful of times if not a little bit more and she's always doing some really cool unique workouts does a lot especially with different variations for lower body exercises and she looks great she looks fantastic she looks phenomenal in terms of her physique and it looks like she works very hard for it so she probably has really put in the time and the effort and has earned it so respect to her I hope she just keeps up with it and stays consistent and for the accessory on the row, I went with a drag curl, a barbell drag curl, straight bar, did a set of eight with 45 pounds, and then I usually stick with 65, and I wanted to go beyond that, so I did a set of eight with 65 for my first working set, then a set of eight with 75 pounds, and then a set of eight with 85 pounds, and that felt just about right. Maybe I could have done three across with 75 but I'm glad with just being able to get a little bit past what I normally do for the drag curl, and it felt quite good. All right, y'all, thank you so much, and remember, adopt, don't chop.